Hey guys, welcome back to Blueprint. I'm Loki, a Town Hall and base builder. This video is about an anti-3 Town Hall 11 war base that is built to defend the meta attacks. At Town Hall 11, Zap Witches and Zap Dragons are the most used armies, and this base is focused primarily on defending them. Let me give a brief idea behind the base. The long central channel is built to decrease log launcher and jump spell value in a ground hit. The sweepers keep dragons away from the eagle artillery, so the eagle can deal damage for a long time, which is the key to defending dragons. You may notice the infernos do not have any defenses closer to prevent zap value and to make pathing harder. Now, let's have a look at the base in action. The first hit is the classic Zap Dragons, zapping out two air defenses, clearing the rest of the air defenses with heroes. Closely watch how the sweepers keep dragons away from the eagle as they approach nearby. The storages near Infernos stall the dragons heavily allowing the multi-Infernos to damage for a long time. The black mines are also put in a way to hit dragons and stone slam and not loons. This helps a ton to defend dragons. The defensive queen also comes in handy when defending dragons as she can do heavy damage. And you can see that's how this base held the dragons. Let's jump into the next hit, the most popular Queen Charge hybrid. The defenses to the exterior of the base would force early rage spells on the Queen, and the attacker may lose his Queen if he isn't fast enough to react with the defensive Headhunter CC, which would also burn a few more spells on the Queen Charge. The core of the base has less DPS, but the attacker needs to use rage spells, so he doesn't time fail. Defending the hybrid part is so fun. Since the Infernos have a strong defense ring around, the Hogs go around the ITs and way forward while the Miners stay stuck on the storage, resulting in Hog-Miner split, which makes it easier to defend Hybrid. Even if Queen stays alive, the Hybrid troops would die off. Here comes the final hit, the most feared Zap Witches. The base already has an advantage since it doesn't give any additional Zap value around Infernos. The traps are completely put against Witches, so Witches will have a hard time. Bombs are put perfectly for Witches. Spring traps for hogs from Siege Barracks. The mass headhunter CC would also melt King's health so quick, which is an added advantage. The long compartment makes the troops to keep walking to other end of the base, while the unreachable expos help clear the troops. The defensive king serves as a heavy tank, surrounded by wizard tower and bomb tower that melt the skeletons summoned by witches, making witches and heroes vulnerable. 
So I hope you like this base. The base link is in the description. Use it to gain advantage and let us know your reviews in the comments below. We'll be back again with another anti-3-base video. Until then, happy clashing.